hello friends welcome back to another video tutorial today i'm going to share some of the basic information about nanofibers nanofibers Bas are new class of nanomaterial which have special properties that mainly due to the extremely high surface to volume ratio compared to conventional fibers so what are the special properties large surface area to volume ratio high porosity small pore size low density and excellent mechanical properties so because of this unique property make nanofibers as a suitable material for different applications like water purification energy application textile uh, biomedical applications like uh, uh, tissue engineering scaffold wound, uh, wound healing and wound dressing application like different applications are there so uh, this nanofibers we can fabricate it uh, by different um, uh, methods such as some of the commonly used fabrication techniques are electrospinning, melt processing, interfacial polymerization and phase inversion method. So here I am going to discuss more about electrospinning. So, so okay. electrospinning is one of the uh, commonly uh, used uh, technique uh, for nanofiber fabrication so from that we can get ultra thin fibers from variety of material so which include polymers nano composites ceramics okay etc okay this electro spinning uh, setup which consists of uh, three main uh, components like high voltage power supply with a syringe pump with a metal needle and a conductive character okay so in electro spinning process uh, which is classified into several mechanism uh, several techniques like uh, vibration electro spinning magneto electro spinning syro electro spinning and bubble electro spinning okay so in uh, in an ideal electro spinning technique uh, when we applied uh, a uh, voltage to the polymer solution then uh, the polymer get uh, charged as the result uh, this uh, Taylor cone uh, will f form that is uh, the electrical repulsion forces which acting on the polymer solution which causes the drop uh, droplet of uh, sample to deform into conical shape okay so th when the voltage is increased this, uh, uh, this surface tension of the polymer solution which overcome and the charged jet uh, which um, emerge from Taylor cone migrate towards the collector okay so during the migration from needle tip to collector the solvent which is present in the solution is uh, get evaporate and the fibers which are deposited over the ground collector okay so this is the uh, basic um, working of the electro spinning so in electro spinning there are different parameter are there that is process parameters so this process parameter which control the uh, morphology of the nanofibers the first one is voltage so in that voltage um, this is one of the important parameters because if we increase the voltage further and uh, the voltage um, will this will cause uh, high jet instability as the result the formation of beaded nanofiber okay so in a typical uh, electro spinning process the voltage should be in the ranges from 5 to 50 kV okay next is the flow rate so this flow rate also important factor which control the morphology so if we need an optim uh, uniform nanofiber we need to optimize the flow rate okay so if high uh, if we increase the uh, flow rate as the result uh, this bead formation uh, will occur in the nanofiber surface okay next is the collector so the collector uh, in electro spinning there are different uh, variety of collectors are used uh, commonly used collectors are stationary or rotating one so which uh, which will also affect the final design of the electro spun fiber okay next is the distance between the tip and the collector so normally um, this is one of the important parameter 
because when the spinning distance decreases to a critical length, uh, there is a formation of beaded uh, nanofiber that is due to the insufficient fiber stretching and solvent evaporation. If we increase the spinning distance, which will provide a large space for jet stretching and longer time for solvent evaporation. So as a result, we will get a uniform nanofibers. Okay. Next is the nature of polymer solution. So in that polymer solution, um, the nature of polymer solution also impo important. So the viscosity which plays a crucial role, uh, polymer viscosity, okay, which uh, play an important role in the morphology of the nanofiber. So if where uh, the low viscosity which uh, generate beaded structure, but if we increase the viscosity, which leads the formation of smooth beaded, um, bead free nanofiber. But uh, if we increase further the viscosity, if we increase further, then there is a chance to clog the polymer solution on the nozzle tip. Okay, uh, then uh, there is no uh, fiber formation. So these are the important parameters uh, in the spinning process. Okay, next is uh, pad. The so in this application pad, and uh, there are because of the unique properties of nanofibers, we can use this nanofiber in different applications, uh, especially in biomedical application. We can use this nanofiber as a um, scaffold for tissue engineering, and we can make a mat for wound dressing and biosensor, medical implant application, drug delivery. Different applications are there. So here I'm going to discuss in detail about some of the uh, application. Okay, first one is uh, dressing and wound healing. So in that um, normally uh, this uh, these nanofibers we can make as a uh, mat, and this mat uh, we can use as a preferred material for wound dressing application. And uh, if if we if we can enable uh, we able to incorporate some antibacterial agent in the erythrospan uh, material, uh, we can also prevent the infection of the wound and which will accelerate the healing processes. Okay, so um, this is one of the important uh, application. So because of the uh, high surface to volume ratio. Uh, which promote the uh, cells which atta cells attachment on the surface and the micro scale uh, interconnected pores which is present in the nanofiber which are um, compatible uh, with gas exchange nutrient supply and control of fluid loss okay so this uh, be these properties which is uh, which maintain the moisture environment at the wound site so uh, th that will prevent the wound dehydration and enhance the angiogenesis and collagen synthesis. So this, um, this will also uh, uh, reduce the scar formation also. Okay, so this is one of the important applications of nanofiber. Next the is uh, the drug delivery application. So uh, this nanofiber have unique properties that we uh, already told. So because of that, um, we can use this as a, a material in drug delivery application. Okay, an ideal drug delivery system which have several features like uh, high loading capacity, high encapsulation efficiency, simultaneous delivery of various therapeutics, ease of operation and uh, cost effectiveness. Okay, this nano uh, fibers which matches all of these features so that we can use this nano fibers material as a uh, drug delivery uh, material agent. Okay, so here. Um, Normally, uh, there are different polymer we can uh, use uh, um, for this nanofiber um, making. Okay, so like uh, polycaprolactone, polyvinyl pyrrolidine, uh, PMMA, like uh, that should be in biodegradable and biocompatible in nature. Okay, so this polymers is mixed with the drug molecules and will get a homogeneous uh, suspension. 
or solution and this solution then electrospin using electrospinning technique and we can produce nanofibers okay so there are different strategy we can follow for making this um, uh, drug loaded nanofibers like uh, electrospinning plus um, drug dissolved so uh, first we can uh, we can dissolve in the polymer solution and then spin it okay uh, so that uh, as the result this um, molecule which is embedded into the nanofibers the second approach is drug loaded nano carrier so the drug loaded nano carrier we can mix uh, mix with the polymer uh, and uh, uh, as the result um, uh, that uh, the drug molecule uh, that are attached outside the fibers next is electrospinning plus uh, drug post treatment so drug uh, so this drug molecules uh, or biomolecules which are attached outside the fibers okay next is um, coarser electrospinning so through that we can um, make molecule uh, which are inside a bulk into nanofiber okay so this is the commonly used strategy to make the nanofiber uh, in drug delivery applications okay uh, next is uh, tissue engineering so in that uh, tissue engineering um, there are uh, is one of the interdisciplinary um, area so uh, because which applies the principle of uh, biological chemical engineering and science uh, to gen uh, to generate um, uh, tissue regeneration okay so in this tissue engineering approach there are um, uh, which involve uh, two main important strategy that is isolation of healthy cells from a patient and followed by their expansion in vitro okay so these expanded cells which are then seeded onto a uh, scaffold biodegradable scaffold so that uh, will provide the structural support and that also can uh, act as a reservoir for bioactive molecules such as uh, growth factors so this um, uh, scaffold uh, after sometimes gradually get uh, replaced by new uh, ground tissues from the seeded cell okay so in uh, this um, uh, biomimic uh, mimetic scaffold we can made with this nanofibers so which will uh, is uh, so the big, there are different scaffold uh, are made for different tissue regeneration so this is also one of the important applications of nanofiber okay that's it Thank you for watching this video. If you like this tutorial, please share with your friends and contacts. Thank you.